Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. If you're new here, my name is Matt. If you're not new here, my name is still Matt. But going back to if you're new here, you might notice that my tone is a bit docile, a bit quiet, a bit toned down, a bit not loud. A lot of new viewers assume that I'm shit-faced in my mother's basement and that I'm whispering so that I don't wake her up. You're pretty close. It's currently 1 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and my wife is asleep up there, directly above my head. In the grand scheme of things, would I have a separate studio, somewhere to go so that I could speak as loud as I'd like? Sure, but guess what? Nothing's perfect, life's not fair. Suck it up, buttercup. So if you notice that my voice is a bit lower than normal, it's because I'm trying to be a great husband, trying to be a good husband, trying to be a decent husband, trying to be an all right husband, trying to be an okay husband, trying to be a mediocre husband, trying not to get divorced. But with all that out of the way, today we are reviewing a brand new Larcenay. As I dug through my Larceny barrel proofs, I came across this, a Larceny barrel proof batch A123. It's not even opened. Did I have another bottle that I opened and reviewed? I have no idea. But that's not what we're reviewing today. This just kind of shows my overall love for Larceny Barrel Proof. This song bitch isn't even opened. And the A124 batch, the first batch from this year, is for all intents and purposes full. For all intents and purposes? For all in is that the right saying? What does that even mean? Sometimes I say things that I've heard before and I feel like it works in this situation, but I have no idea what it means. For all intents and purposes, that was one of them. So I must not have been a huge fan of A124, but today we're reviewing a brand new bottle I got from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It's B524, 125.4 proof, 62.7% alcohol by volume. And speaking of volume, I'm keeping mine so low and so controlled. It's just what a good husband does. America. Glen Cairn. Larceny B524 Barrel Proof. If you're unfamiliar, Larceny Barrel Proof is a barrel strength bourbon whiskey produced, distilled, and bottled by the Heaven Hill Distillery. Going in for a nose on this Larceny Barrel Proof Batch B524. Some sharp fruity notes like a blackberry. It's like a chocolate covered blackberry espresso bean. A very good sign for this Larceny Barrel Proof Batch right out of the gate. I'm not picking up on a ton of nuttiness. Not saying that it won't show its ugly face in the near future, but at first sniff, I am extremely happy to say that the nutty profile of a young weeded Heaven Hill bourbon is not being overly present. Now I'm starting to pick up on that underlayment, the nutty underlayment, but fortunately they put down a nice thick carpet of dark fruits and coffee on top of it. Like the McCabe family in Boston covered up that murder in their basement and then got rid of their dog and sold their home, deleted text messages, conspired with the police, and framed an innocent woman. From the outside looking in, everything seems fine, but if you dig a little bit deeper, you start to see it for what it really is. Why do I keep buying these? Why do I keep buying them? Last year's B batch, the B523, has been my favorite Larceny barrel proof that they have released. To me, it was the most off profile, and I know that's not necessarily the best thing for those of you who love Larceny barrel proof, but for me, an off profile Larceny is the best case scenario for me. Unfortunately for me, but fortunately for those of you who adore the Larceny Barrel Proof, batch B524, this sucker is right on profile and will be right up your alley. 
and parked directly up your asses. To me, the nose is much better than the palate. The nose is doing a bit of catfishing and is like, hey, look at me. Look at my profile picture. I'm young, I'm hot. I got my shit together and I'm not nuts. But then you meet this larceny barrel proof in person and you're immediately like, damn, been tricked. Homie got tricked. The front of the palette is a bit promising. There's like a little bit of a strawberry cream note at the very front of the palette. And if you're anything like me, you're hoping that that profile continues from the front all the way to the back, but that's not what's happening here. Unfortunately, the young waxy peanutty note the Heaven Hill Distillate is known for, well, the young stuff anyway, takes over your mouth like Conor McGregor in a speedo wearing competition. It's a bit bulgy. It is a bit softer than you would think for almost 126 proof. It's a bit more gentle and a bit more forgiving than some of the brash larceny barrel proofs in the past. But even though the nuttiness is subdued a bit, it ultimately fails to hide its true colors. Like a honey badger sleepwalking on Ambien. Don't wake it up. Like I said earlier, those of you who love Larceny Barrel Proof will love this Larceny Barrel Proof. Those of you who are looking for the absolute best Larceny Barrel Proofs to pick up, I don't think that this is going to be the one. I don't think that this is B523 or C923. I think that Matt Madness this year will just be Larceny Barrel Proof. After Larceny Barrel Proof. After Larceny Barrel Proof. After Larceny Barrel Proof after Evan Williams. A well-prepared me would have gone back and looked at my previous Larceny Barrel Proof videos to see the scores that I give these Larceny Barrel Proof bottles, but it is currently 1.38 in the morning. So, I am unprepared. Today, Larceny Barrel Proof batch B524 receives a score of 7.2. Seven point two, it's good. It's good, but it's not blowing my skirt up or knocking my socks off. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, which I should probably put at the beginning of the videos, because at this point in the video, very few of you are watching. And the few of you who are watching probably watch all of them meaning that you're already subscribed. But if you're not subscribed, then I subscribe to the idea that you should. Or else. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on stretching before you go bowling or stretching before you do anything considered to be half athletic or even a quarter athletic especially if you're in your mid to late 30s or higher i think that stretching is probably something that is required it's amazing how stiff and immobile you get as you get older and fatter shit just doesn't move the way you want it to move unless you tell your body that it's about to move i've noticed it in several aspects of my life lately bowling love making okay so not several but two parts of my life 